Hi everybody, this is a video response to Kizume Fowler. I hope I've pronounced your name correctly. Uh, this is a response to a couple of videos he's done on the subject of um, objectification and compliments. Um, in your video, Kazume, you mention uh, that women should learn to take compliments, and you, you seem to extend the definition of compliments as far as uh, comments such as saying someone's got nice tits or got a nice ass. Um, I don't agree that those are compliments, um, certainly not if they're said in public. You've mentioned the context of a grocery store. If a woman is in a grocery store, I don't think it's at all appropriate to walk up to her and say she's got nice tits. Um, I consider that highly inappropriate, and I'll tell you why. Um, if a co The point of a compliment is to make someone feel good. That's the point of it. If someone doesn't feel good, having a stranger come up to them and make comments about their tits or comments about their ass or any other part of their body um, for whatever reason then that is not a compliment. You can't simply demand that that person find your comments complimentary. If they don't like what you're saying to them then they don't like it and uh, the onus is on you to to restrain yourself from making these kind of remarks. Um, the other thing I'd say is in the context of a grocery store, strangers approaching you and talking to you for any reason really isn't good. I suppose, obviously, if someone comes up to me in a grocery store and says, oh, excuse me, because uh, I'm standing in their way, perhaps I'm in the way of the shelf they're trying to uh, reach, then OK, obviously that's understandable. Um, but that's usually how, how um, we define the difference between harassment and non-harassment. Uh, harassment is when communication with someone is considered unreasonable. If it's considered reasonable, we don't call it harassment. So someone might come up and say something perfectly reasonable to me like that, like, excuse me, uh, could I just get past you there, or something like that. Obviously, um, the I have to talk to the person at the checkout while they're um, you know, scanning my shopping or whatever. Fine, but I think, you know, most people are probably sensible enough to know what I'm saying here already. Uh, it's not an appropriate place to just walk up to people you don't know and start talking to them. You might, you've might you said in your comment section and in your video that you quite like people doing that. Well, okay, that's you, but if just because you like something doesn't mean other people do. Um, in, in order for people to socialise, we do have places for socialising, don't we? We have social gatherings, we have things like parties. Now, if someone comes up to me at a party and starts talking to me and they're a stranger. I'm not going to consider that unreasonable or harassment because I am at a party. It's a social gathering. It's a place where it's generally accepted that uh, people socialise. So even if I find the person boring or not interesting, I'm not, I don't think they've breached any kind of etiquette by coming up and talking to me. Obviously, though, even then, there are certain things that are and are not considered appropriate for them to say to me. I'm not certainly not going to go up to a woman at a party and start making comments about her body you know um, maybe when you've built up a rapport with someone when you've got to know them when you've kind of figured out what kind of person they are how private they are with themselves how public they are with themselves you might you know reach a certain rapport where you might know what sort of things are okay some people draw different lines with boundaries some people are very private about themselves and that is their right and um, some people like to be a bit more public with themselves that's their right as well so even if uh, someone does like being told they've got nice tits, well, you need to establish that they're okay with that kind of thing before you start saying things like that. You can't start considering it to be the default position. Uh, there is an, a difference as well between complimenting someone's clothing or complimenting someone's body. If you say to someone, oh, you've got a nice hat, for example, well, you're complimenting them as a person, aren't you? You're complimenting the way they look, but you're also complimenting their taste in fashion. So you are complimenting them both in terms of physical appearance and in terms of personality. Telling someone they've got nice tits is objectification. You are simply viewing them as an object, and that is generally considered to be quite rude. Um, most people don't like it, and therefore it is the default position. The majority wins in this sort of scenario, I'm afraid. Now, you and a couple of your commenters seem to think that when women uh, receive these kind of objectifying comments, uh, that they don't take it as compliments, but when men receive these kind of comments, they do. Um, I'm a man, I disagree. I don't really like strangers making comments about my body. I don't like them giving the 
I find it highly arrogant that they think they can just splurt their opinions at me when I'm in the street or in any other kind of public place. Um, and you tried to say, you've tried to twist this and to suggest that if I don't like um, gay men yelling compliments at me in the street, I must be homophobic. Absolutely not. There's nothing homophobic about wanting to be a little bit of basic respect. Um, there is a difference if I'm talking to a gay guy at a party or something and he says, in fact, I recently I was, yeah, maybe a few months ago, I was in a bit of a social gathering at a, at a bar and, uh, yeah, a gay guy happened to say I had nice arms. Okay, fine, I didn't think that was harassment. We were socialising, he did, he, we, we had, you know, built up something of a rapport with each other. Wasn't a particularly rude comment. I was okay with that. I didn't feel threatened. I didn't think he was going to rape me or anything like that. So, no, there is no homophobia here. It's nothing to do with uh, anything like that. It is to do with context. When you're in a social situation, a uh, person you know, a stranger talking to you or someone you've not met before talking to you is completely different to someone just walking up to you in the street or while you're in the grocery store, which are not places that are primarily for socialising. There is, so there's an obvious difference there. I think you're trying to ignore. Even if a woman starts yelling what she considers to be compliments at me in the street, I don't think that's appropriate either. Okay, I think it's rude. I think if you want to give someone a compliment, there are ways and means to do so you know, do so at a social gathering or at a bar or somewhere, even then, you know, there are limitations, to, there's boundaries, aren't there? We, we draw boundaries. We, uh, you know, we, we don't just go to, to someone and start complimenting and talking about private areas of their body. It simply isn't appropriate. Um, another thing here I should point out, you seem to think respect for boundaries is somehow equates to being ashamed of sexuality. It isn't. But people's bodies are to do with as they please. Their sexuality is their own business. Um, it should not be a topic for open discussion unless the person offers it up as a topic for open discussion. If a person walks into a room and says, hey everyone, let's discuss my tits, well, okay, then I suppose, yeah, you can discuss their tits. If they walk into a room and don't say that, well, then you can assume that they don't want you to discuss their tits and let, you know, until they, until they bring it up as a topic of conversation. It's uh, only fair. And you did acknowledge the concept of privacy. You acknowledged this completely. You said there are, you understand there is a need for people to have privacy, but then you seem to think that because a grocery store is a public place, people don't aren't entitled to privacy while they're there. I disagree. People are still entitled to be private about their body. Uh, people are still entitled to, for you to, to have you respect their boundaries, to not simply approach them and start making comments at them that they may find uh, uncomfortable. You also say that this is... You, that it's okay to say whatever you want to someone as long as you don't do so in a threatening manner. Here, I've really got to pick you up on something. Uh, Self-defence expert Jeff Thompson wrote a book a number of years ago called Dead or Alive, It's Your Choice, in which he makes the controversial step of interviewing various perpetrators of violent crime to try and find out what, what kind of tactics they use when committing crimes, such as mugging. One of them was to go up to people in the street and ask them what the time was. Of course, when they look down at their watch, and take their eyes off the person, they look down at their watch to see what the time is, that's when these people have fully admitted that they would pull knives out. This is how they go about mugging people. It doesn't take a genius really to figure this out. People who uh, want to do something like that aren't going to run up to you yelling, I'm going to mug you, I'm going to mug you. They're not people who want to engage in threatening or violent behaviour are not simply going to announce it the way you seem to think they will. So even if someone does seem to be is just saying things, you know, even if they're just saying, oh, you've got nice tits, or you've got a nice ass, there's still every reason for uh, the woman in question here to find that threatening, because, let's face it, they are breaking a commonly established social, et social etiquette. Um, you're also saying people should be flattered by it, you're saying, be flattered by it, you give that like it's an order. Um, you can't tell people how to feel. If people don't find something flattering, then... Uh, I'm afraid you've got no business telling them they should, regardless of their gender. You, you, you mentioned again, you, uh, and a number of your commenters seem to think that, oh, well, men enjoy this kind of thing, so why can't women enjoy it? Well, like I said, I'm a guy, I don't, I don't enjoy this kind of thing, and, and to be honest, the guys who say they do find it complimentary, well, that's probably because they don't experience it as often as women do. 
I think if they did, the novelty would soon wear off, and they would soon find it every bit as disgusting and intrusive as women do. So I like to think I've covered most of the points there. Um, you seem to say f make, a, say, make the comment as well, feminism you, s you claim is making women weak, or it's encouraging women to be weak. I can't see that as anything other than a rather cheap dig, really, a bit of a trollish comment. And when you know full well that is not the aim of feminism. Feminism is aimed to do exactly the opposite of that. Uh, I, c I can't see how that comment has any value, really, at all. Uh, it just seems like a trollish remark. Uh, I hope that's given you some food for thought, but... Um, yeah, somehow I doubt you're really going to come around to my uh, point of view on this subject. Anyway, if anyone would like to let me know what they think, let me know. Goodbye.